Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly hope you can hear me because right in back of me is a pretty large roaring crick. Uh, what this file is about, what is cooking trout or fish over an open campfire. Simple as that. Now, this is a very, very simple old-fashioned technique that was taught to me by an old timer down in southern Idaho. I did a YouTube video one time before about this subject. I actually had a fire to fish, but it's kind of hard to do it that way. Okay, all you gotta do, see this wood here? You just build you a small fire. You use small wood, small pieces of wood. You see what I got here, you know? I put this down here on purpose. You don't gotta use great big logs or nothing like that. And you don't need a pit that's near as big as this big rock pit right here, but I'm just using this for demonstration purposes. What you're doing, ladies and gentlemen, is you're gonna build you a fire about two to three feet in diameter, depending on how many fish you're gonna do. Now, Gordon, Chef Gordon Ramsay, are you paying attention to me, yes? Because this recipe involves no pads, no oil, no utensils, no plates, no nothing, okay? But you want to get you a quick, fast fire going, and you need about two or three inches of coals, okay? And you can do trout, say, between 12 inches all the way up to five pounders, but they take a little bit longer to cook. And it's very, very simple. You get a quick, fast fire going, get you a, a bed of coals, and you just take those fish and lay them right on them coals. You hear me? We're not talking olive oil. We're not talking skillets. We're not talking any of this crap. Lay them fish right on top of them coals. On the average trout, say a 16 inch or so, you let him cook for about three to five minutes on one side, and then I always cut a fork and stick, a willow stick, just like this, and I flop the fish over, let him cook three to five minutes. It takes a little bit longer on bigger trout, okay, say like if you had a five pounder, you probably want to cook him, you know, say 10 minutes on one side and then flop him over or something like that. But the point being is what's going to happen is that fish is going to look all burned up. But the skin on the trout, are you hearing me, Chef Ramsey? Yes. I can hear Chef Ramsey, he's probably going, that's hideous. Anyway, we'll, we'll get to Chef Ramsey later. But the skin of the fish acts like its own tin foil. It's gonna get burned up, sure. It's got, there's gonna be little pieces of charcoal and whatnot have you on the skin of the fish. But that's something, you can just take a knife. You, you, you need a knife, a way to ba make a fire. You do need some basic stuff. And I'll get to this lemon pepper in a minute. But you gotta have a knife to field dress your fish. Cause I, I do this stuff right out when I'm fishing, okay? But the point being is you just peel that skin away, knock off those little pieces of charcoal, it ain't gonna hurt you none. And that's the best fish that you'll ever eat in your entire life. Now you see this bed of grass right here? See this bed of grass? That's why I use a plate. I always cut me a fresh bed of grass, lay my trout on there, knock off the coals, crack them open, and then I just simply take this stuff right here called lemon pepper. Lemon pepper salt. And sprinkle a little bit on there. And I just, the, the fish are usually so well done and so good and everything, and I just eat, I just eat the chunks of trout with my fingers. No forks, no knives, no plates, no oil, no nothing. Simple as that. I've cooked hundreds and hundreds of fish this way. Campfire trout. My wife doesn't even like fish, but she'll definitely, she almost practically begs me to do campfire trout for her when we're out camping. It's as simple as that. So you just need some, you can use whatever spice you want. It doesn't have to be lemon pepper, okay? You simply need a knife, a way to build a fire, some wood, and by the way, while I'm thinking about wood, don't use rail, railroad ties or ironwood. Hardwood will work. Lots of different kinds of wood will work. Up here in Montana, I use willow, pine, fir, anything that cottonwood will even work. 
I don't really like cotton wood all that well, but yes, hard wood will work. But the idea is you don't need a great big fire. It's that simple. But you do need enough coals to make sure that you cook those fish through and through. That's it. That's all there is to it. And the seasoning I like the best right here, like I say, just this lemon pepper stuff. I don't know. I'm on the other side of the camera, so I I don't know if you can, you know, see this or not, but it really doesn't matter. That's very, very simple. You need a, a bed of coals off of a quick, fast fire. Of course, you need a knife and a way to build a fire. You need a fork and stick and a bed of grass right there like I got. That's it. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much. It wasn't quite that hideous, was it there, Gordon, Chef Gordon Ramsay? I'm just kidding. Okay, I can see I got six minutes on this file. By the way, Chef Gordon Ramsay, he cracked me up with that kitchen nightmares. Holy crap. That guy, he, he really runs into some stuff. So I'm going to dedicate this file to Chef Gordon Ramsay. I think he's a pretty good chef. I howled and hooled and yelled and rolled around on the floor and screamed and hollered and everything because I think he's funny. But anyway, that's just me. Thank you for watching the file. Adios, my friends.